Hi Prosperity Team, it's Dr. Money coming to you from the prosperity corner of the universe where silliness is sacred and nobody's perfect. I am your professor of prosperity, your P-O-P, pop, and I'm here to help all of us allow prosperity to pop in our lives. I'm going to talk about prosperity in relationships, how to have abundant relationships. And I'm especially thinking about when we have a problem person in our lives. That is a person that we just don't get along with. And for some reason, have you ever had somebody just not like you? You didn't do anything, but they didn't like you. Well, I had that situation at work one time. There was a person who, when I came into the office as a new, a new uh, member of the team, he disliked me and I think it was because it was competitive you know he worked on commission and he just didn't want any more people there and I can kind of blame him but he was really rude to me and um, when he was supposed to be helping me out and do certain things he, he wouldn't help me out he would just leave me uh, whereas other people would pitch in even though it was my, my work or somebody else's work we would pitch in and help when we needed to but he never would and I, I read this in a book and I thought, well, I might as well try it. And so the book said, imagine yourself sitting with this person and you're both at a desk. He's on one side, I'm on the other side. And then put your hands, place your hands right here over your heart. Can you see, can I get up? Here we go. And right over your heart in the prayer position. And imagine yourself just looking at him and saying across the desk, I love you. I love you and do this for a minute or two and do it every night until the situation clears up it worked <laughs> it really worked his attitude started changing toward me and we became really good friends it, and that's the only thing I did that was different so Often when somebody doesn't treat us fairly or they treat us, they snub us or they don't treat us well, we want to get revenge. But revenge really just is something that we keep the blueprint of a revenge. If I'm revengeful towards someone, if I want to get them back, if I want to punish them, then I'm punishing myself because I'm getting the vibes, I'm getting the thoughts and the feelings that I'm trying to give to them. I'm having them first and they're staying in my body. And so what we if we really want peace, if we really want our lives to work, then we have to write our relationship. And probably every person that we meet is reflecting some wound that we have that originated from our family of origin. And we attract these people in, and if we can deal with it, then we can heal the past. And the past doesn't remain the past because what it does is these it, it impinges into our present and so we see through filters and we attract things that are negative or we give out things that are negative so if you really want to heal then the way to do that is simply through love so here's the technique is sit at a table put your hands in a prayer position or you can put them this way if you really want to protect yourself put them up like this um, in, in front of your heart and say I love you and imagine yourself looking straight into their eyes I love you and if you want to even go a little further than that during the daytime just think good thoughts about them thinking think about their family think about things that you have in common and I wouldn't be surprised if you do this if your relationship didn't change this is Dr. Money I hope you have a wonderful evening tonight, that you sleep tight, and that you remember one more thing for sure. I love you.